Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 21 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Ed Matut. Ed, thank you so much for the support. We could not do this without you and we really, really appreciate it. So thank you again. And if you guys wanna be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right, so last night we saw on the show, Bella was evicted by a vote of eight to two. Nick and Sam were the two, and uh, the show ended with the HOH competition in progress because it was an endurance comp called Pose in Ivy. Julie made sure we got the joke, so that's nice. Um, so by the time the show ended, Jess and Nicole were already eliminated. Ah! Okay, so the feeds did not come back the second the show ended like they said they would, <laughs> but we'll let it slide. It was only a few minutes. So... Sam fell like a minute after the feeds came back. He got in like this really crazy position um, that he could not maintain, so that was it for him. And then um, pretty soon after that, Big Brother hit them with some pink goo and then later some green confetti. The confetti almost looked like lettuce falling down. Um, and then maybe like a minute after the confetti, or no, a minute after the goo, Christy dropped. Oh, okay. So then uh, Nick was struggling for a few minutes. He was all, <laughs> and then he dropped at 7.09 p.m. So, I mean, people are dropping pretty quickly here. Um, and everybody who was left looked like a bunch of, like, marionettes or, like, spelunkers in a cave. Um, so then the peanut gallery was all like, oh, who wants to see their dog and their family? Who's going to get those HOH pictures? <laughs> so it was a pretty talkative peanut gallery. Um, Jack was the next one to fall at 7.19 p.m. And at this point, it looks like the house guests are doing, like, arabesques and back attitudes. If you guys uh, do any ballet, you know what I'm talking about. And um, they were doing, like, some warrior yoga poses. There was some extreme stuff going on. I mean, we saw Tommy doing splits. It was crazy. Um, Jackson, however, seemed to be keeping his legs together better than others. I don't know. I know for a while he had his legs crossed. I don't even know if that was technically loud or if he got yelled at for that because he wasn't doing it the whole time. And then I think he also might have wrapped his wire like around his legs or something. I don't know. Also, don't know that that was allowed according to what Nicole was saying after the competition when they were talking about the rules. So I feel like mm, Jackson might have cheated. We've seen what happens when Jackson cheats at other things though. Nothing. Okay, so anyway. um. Tommy lost one of his stirrups and fell at 7.31. He couldn't get it back. And it was crazy because right before Tommy fell, the feeds were on the animal shelter, like when they go down for competition or whatever. So they blocked it for a few minutes and the feeds were on the animal shelter. And one of the beautiful adopt adoptable dogs... This is a really bad week for allergies. Um, one of the beautiful adoptable dogs went up to the camera and was like, ah, ah, ah. it was so cute, so cute. And then Tommy fell. Okay, so that means we're down to four. It's Cat, Holly, Jackson, and Sis left. And again, we've got a very active crowd cheering everyone on. Um, and then at 7.49 p.m., Jackson pissed his pants literally ah, you could see the urine coming out of his shorts and it was a lot apparently he had like a big cup of coffee before the live show and then they told him there wasn't enough time to go to the bathroom before the competition started people were cheering ew oh gross so one of the best parts of the night was half an hour or so later when Jackson fell into his own piss puddle. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Okay, so then a minute after that gloriousness, it was like 8.22 p.m., Cat fell off. I was wondering if she was just waiting for Jackson to be eliminated. Um, but also right before she fell off, it sounded like Holly and Sis both said that they wouldn't put her up. So I guess she felt safe and she was like, I'm out of here. Deuces. Uh, so then it was down to Sis and Holly. Yay. So who wants that HOH shower more? 
Um, Sis starts trying to cut deals with Holly. I mean, it was like frivolous stuff because obviously they're not going to put each other up. But she was like, um, you can have some of my lasagna. <sighs> so Jackson tells Holly sternly, Holly, don't fall. Woo, that's kind of awkward because like... They're supposed to be BFFs, so why, is, why isn't why is somebody dropping here? They both say that they want to see their families. Um, Holly kept saying to Sis, like, I really do kind of want to fall and give it to you, but I also really want to see my family. And Jackson kept telling her, don't drop, don't drop, stay up there. Is he worried about his standing in the group in the six shooters now that he's heard that information from Bella and Nick? I mean, because... Bella made it part of her campaigning that Jackson and Holly were at the bottom of their group and Nick spilled to Jackson that Christy was saying that she doesn't like the way he talks to women and she wants him out, blah blah blah, all this stuff. So maybe he's starting to be a little worried, I don't know. But Sis ended up falling at 9.11pm, which means that Holly won HOH. Okay, <laughs> so the challenge lasted, I guess it was like, what, like 2.15, 2.20? That's pretty respectable. I think it's pretty respectable. Um, it seems like a tough challenge. So then, after Holly won, she got a big hug from Jackson the Golden Reliever. I cannot take credit from that joke. That is not my joke. It was on Twitter. That was hilarious. So now the big question is, will Jackson commandeer this HOH? Yeah, probably. We'll see, though. Um, and in case you were wondering, Christy and Tommy got the poison ivy chips, but we don't know what they do yet. Some sort of punishment, I guess. So then, after the competition, they hadn't even gone inside yet. Everybody was still in, like, hug mode out on the mats, and Sis was already complaining to Christy about how Holly wouldn't drop, and Jackson kept telling her to stay up there. So Christy's like, oh, I know. I heard it all. Do you think Christy could potentially become paranoid enough this week to use her power, her activity power? Because that would be hilarious. So then the feeds went down for a little while uh, after the competition. Actually, they were down for quite a while. And when they came back, we found out that have nots are over for the week, which is interesting because usually um, they're not done until midnight like the night before, or whatever, until after midnight. But this time, once they went in that house, it was over. So um, we also saw a few minutes after the feeds came back, Jackson was fresh out of the shower, wearing a towel, and then he went and put deodorant all over his freaking undercarriage, his man parts. And then he took the same stick of deodorant and rubbed it under his arms. healthy or comfortable or like sanitary I don't know but is this where Holly's crotch rash came from that doesn't seem good okay so then um, now that he can eat food again let's be real Jackson's been sneaking food all week it's insane and ridiculous but now that he's like legally allowed to eat non-slop out in the open he begins slicing up his precious watermelons and he is like a kid on christmas morning he's like oh, i'm so grateful for these but like these tiny ones are bullshit blah, blah blah i could eat like two of these in one sitting oh my god so he also says all of these groceries are based off of a very specific list that i gave them why are they catering to him? Oh my god, what do you have on the production team? What is going on here? So then, Cat and Sis, let's move on. Cat and Sis were talking in the bathroom area, and Sis is like, oh, it should be an easy week for us. What hasn't been an easy week for Sis? Because I feel like she hasn't really done much of anything yet, except for, like, be pissed off and have sex with Jack. Other than that, like, what has she worried about? Like, I don't whatever um she's pissed at Jackson because he kept telling Holly not to drop and Holly was telling her that she wanted to drop so like what's going on here and she says we're all on the same team why are you nothing saying that do you not trust me are you afraid I'm gonna put you on the block 
So she says Holly is her own person. She can decide what she wants to do. Well, guess what? Holly wanted to see her family too. So Kat's like, oh, I hope it doesn't become the Jackson HOH. And Sis says it already is. Holly's going to do whatever he says. <laughs> so then Sis is saying she loves Holly, but she also says that she needs a bigger backbone. Ouch, but also like pot calling the kettle black. Okay, so then they were talking about how mean and scary Jackson is when he gets in his moods. Yeah, okay. So then speaking of, Jackson was talking to Holly and uh, previously he had asked her like, oh, could I sleep up in the HOH room? And she was like, mm, I don't know. I kind of want to see if my girls will sleep up there. So she asked, Christy and uh, Sis if they would join her because they all shared the HOH room the first week when Christy was up there and she wants to do it again. So she's like, I would love for you to sleep up in the HOH room with me, but I need to get closer to Sis and Christy again because I've been feeling left out lately. And Jackson's like, yeah, I get it. Uh, you know, I'll sleep up there when I win HOH and I reward myself. Okay, so Holly says, Christy and Sis have gotten super close and she does feel like they're at the bottom of the totem pole in their group of six. So she wants to fix that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm not sweating it. Okay, we'll see. So Holly reveals um, that she was really tempted to throw that HOH competition to Sis. Uh, and she says that Sis seemed pretty upset that she didn't throw it to her. Jackson's like, well, she'll get over it. And Holly's like, yeah, but it could be nice if you said something to her. Just make sure things are good. Smooth everything over. And Jackson's like, it's ridiculous. Uh, what? So I'm supposed to encourage someone to throw the competition after they've been up there for two hours? Come on. I mean, he's got a point. But at the same time, like, it's just suck it up. It's a game. Just tell her she did a freaking good job. So they agree that Sis is mad at herself for losing. And then, off topic, Jackson starts bragging about how he's already eaten the equivalent of one and a half watermelons, and his belly's just so full. Okay. So then Sis comes over, and Jackson tells her, oh, I just want to let you know you did a hell of a job in the competition. So he's like, I hope you don't think anything I said was a jab against you. You know, she was up there for like two hours. I didn't want her to give up at that point. And Sis is like, it annoyed me, but I'm over it. No, you're not! Oh my god, she's gonna hang on to this for a long time. So, Christy, Jack, and Sis were in the Target bedroom, and Christy says, Okay, I would never push or pressure someone, but... <laughs> really? Nick and Sam both have to go up on the block this week. She says she caught wind that Holly might want to put up only one of them with a pawn this week, but that's not safe because... One of them, the one who's not on the block, could win the veto and save the other one, and then they're both safe. She's got a point there, right? So she wants to make sure they get both Nick and Sam up on the block. Another thing, Christy is a bit concerned about Bella's campaigning kind of like sticking around and festering in Jackson's head because Bella told Jackson and Holly that they're at the bottom of their alliance, which is kind of true, and she hopes that Jackson is not going to take that and then feel like he has to keep Nick and Sam around to go against the six, the rest of the six later on. Keep them around as numbers. So Jackson's like, alright, I'll touch base with Jackson. Great. Not, not Holly though, the HOH? Mm, okay, so meanwhile, Nick and Sam are chatting in the RV room and their plan this week is to throw Jess under the bus. They're like, let's ask Holly <laughs> if she wants Jess or us in the jury. They just want to see if they can hang on for at least one more week to make that jury house. And Sam keeps saying how he does not want to be stuck in the jury house with Jess. I mean, unless you're leaving this week, it looks like you're probably going to be stuck in there with her. So yeah, that's their plan. I don't think it's going to work. So then Cliff and Jackson were chatting in the campsite bedroom and Cliff is like, I know Holly's not going to have a lot of time before nominations. Do you think I should get in some campaigning time? And Jackson's like, no, we have our two week deal. Like you're all set, bud. Um, 
so then Jackson starts sharing the things that Nick told him that Christy allegedly said about him. She did say these things. She did. So he's like, okay. Nick told me a few weeks ago that Christy was saying that she would take a shot at Jack and Jackson, given the opportunity. That is true. Um, at the same time, if I was Jackson, I wouldn't put that much weight behind that one because they've all been saying that about each other. And also, that's supposed to be from a few weeks ago. And you know how things change from day to day, hour to hour. So that's like whatever. But this next one, I'd be a little bit scared here. Um, Nick told him that on day 33, Christy said she doesn't like Jackson, he's disrespectful to women, and she doesn't like the way he talks to her. These are all things that Christy did in fact say to Nick. Um, so Jackson's like, that doesn't make sense to me. Why would she say that? Really? So he thinks that Nick is just trying to plant a seed there. And Cliff is just listening to this and he's thinking, oh my god. I feel the same way as Christy. Um, but he keeps his mouth shut about it because he's not about to piss off the new HOH's person that they lay with. Okay, so anyway, uh, Jackson says, you know, everybody else thinks that we just have this like two week deal or whatever, but he implies like, Holly and I want to work with you more moving forward. Um, he says they're very aware of all the campaigning points that Bella made. And last week, um, Jack was Cliff's target. It was too early for them to take him out, but things change in a few weeks. So he's implying that in a few weeks, he'll take out Jack. But just before he said that, Jackson said he would never vote out Jack. Who are you trying to fool? Come on. All right, so then Holly gets her HOH room. And it was so sad because she came out of the DR and she was like, who wants to see my HOH room? And no one heard her at first. They were all like in the back rooms. So that's kind of sad, but also funny. So they all go upstairs. They're all looking at Holly's family photos, but she didn't get any of her dog. That sucks. But guess what her dog's name is? It's Jackson. <laughs> oh my God. So Holly could not stop saying good things about her family. And it was really sweet and really heartwarming. So that's great. Um, she got artichokes, snacks, a letter from her mom and dad, which she was very emotional reading, uh, a horsehair keychain, okay, and big, her, big horse girl energy. She also got nail polish, her music was Tim McGraw, and yeah, looked like she had a pretty good haul. So everyone hung out for a bit, and then of course, they start filtering out, and Jess was the first one to have her HOH chat. So Jess is like, oh, I'm kind of scared that you're gonna put me up on the block. And Holly's like, no, I'm not, come on. And Jess is like, okay, well, I don't wanna just like assume that people aren't gonna put me up, you know? So then Jess uh, promises to give Holly massages. She says, I'll always be honest with you. I've never lied to you. I'll always be a vote on your side and I'm not a threat to you this week. Okay, yeah, <laughs> no. Um, Holly is not planning on going after Jess. So then, Holly, Christy, and Sis were up late chatting because they are all sharing the HOH room. And Sis brings up the stuff that Nick told Jackson about what Christy said. Um, because apparently it's not sitting well with Jackson. So Christy is denying saying anything about the way Jackson treats women. She's like, I love Jackson. Why would I say anything like that? Oh my God, stop, that is so fake. You are lying. So Christy's claiming that she said that the guys were like bullying her about whether or not she was gonna use her power last week. And that was on both sides, you know, Sam and Nick telling her not to and Jack and Jackson wanting her to use it. So, she says that must be what Nick was talking about and he like twisted my words. No, that's not what it was. So she says that Nick was trying to turn Jackson against her. Oh my God. Okay, so then Tommy joins them and they're all discussing what Holly's gonna do this week. So Holly is not sure at this point if she wants to get rid of Nick or Sam first. Also, put both up together or put up one and then use a pawn. Um, she's wondering if maybe she should put up Kat as a pawn so it looks like they're not working together. Wow, that would be a horrible idea. <laughs> they tell her, Kat would freak out, please don't do that. 
I think Kat would be really freaking pissed. So she realized it's, it's probably just best to put up Sam and Nick. And, you know, I could justify it by saying that they both voted against the house. How dare they? <laughs> and um, if the veto is used, it sounds like the replacement nominee would be Nicole. No! Okay. So then this morning, Jackson made a huge ass breakfast spread for the HOH girls. Uh, he went up there at 8.15 a.m. It was before Big Brother even woke them up and just like turned the lights on. They were all like, because they went to bed really late last night. So it was quite jarring, um, but they were very happy with the food. So then the three HOH girls, Holly, Sis, and Christy were all talking. Kat was in there for a little while. Uh, Jess was in there for a little while. And Holly is wondering, you can't make this shit up. Would it be disrespectful for me to ask Sam if he would rather go home this week or next week? Oh my god. That's so effed! So their reasoning is, oh, this is probably the last eviction before the jury starts and Sam has a family. So I want to see, like, does he want to go home to his family or does he want to sit around and jury? Just like the fact that she's assuming that he's going to go either this week or next week is so arrogant and insane. That's so messed up. You can't say that to someone. So Christy says, and this is even crazier. Oh no, that would be considerate to ask him that. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so the plan is still to put up Nick and Sam at that point. So then all the other non-six shooters have one-on-ones with Holly. And Nick is telling her, this is going to be quick. I just want to let you know, I'm a free agent now, I have no distractions, and I was never going to target you. That's a lie. Um, well, he maybe not him himself, but he was trying to get other people to target her. And he said, I'll do whatever you guys want. I'm down for whatever. I made this great alliance, and I ruined it. And then the feed's cut? What? Why can't we see the rest of that? So, I don't know what, el what else he said, but that's what we got. So, Sam talked to Holly. And Holly told him that she wants to do whatever will make the house happy. <sighs> of course you do. That's so lame, so lame. So Sam tells her, I'm extremely loyal. I've never had issues with you or Jackson. And Nick and I will be bigger targets in front of you. So keep us. He also says, like, I want to stay one more week so I make the jury. So there you go. There's your answer. You didn't even have to ask him. But he's trying to be all like, who would you rather be in jury with? Me or someone like Jess? Oh my god. That's a crazy campaign strategy. And I don't see it working. Um, but Cliff and Nicole also both checked in with Holly. Uh, not with each other, but you know what I mean. Separately. And Holly told them, I'm doing what the house wants. Should be a straightforward week. Meaning, not you. Unless the POV is used, then maybe we'll have to talk. So at some point today, they will be having nominations. Uh, if you guys want to check back later, we will post them in the info box below. Should be Nick and Sam, unless something crazy happens. And the plan for the potential replacement nominee would be, I guess, Nicole. Uh, also today, I believe Tommy and Christy will be getting their Poison Ivy punishment. And I'm not sure if they're going to be doing have-nots today or tomorrow. Oh. I think it's today but like we'll see we'll find out so let me know what you guys think and until tomorrow much love